Now that we have created a simulation for the benchmark scenario, we will create a scenario for an alternative. So we're going to scroll back to the top of the IEP page and click on the Crops Operations pane. The Corn Soybeans Conventional Management is still there and we don't need it anymore because we're going to create a new management. So I'm going to delete the uh, Corn Soybeans Convention Management. Keep in mind that we have saved this as a rotation file could, so we could load it back in later. As discussed previously, there are several ways to get a management system for IET. For the benchmark, we loaded a management from the CMZ and we also edited it and saved it to a rotation file. So up to this point, we have used the management in three ways. We have loaded it from the CMZ, we have edited the management we loaded, and we have saved the management to a rotation file that we could use in the future in IET scenarios. Now we will look at using a management the fourth way. We will create a management from scratch. So we'll click on the Create Management. Notice that by default, IET opens the rotation of builder with a three row blank template. We're going to build a custom management for no-till soybeans, which will consist of three operations, a burn down chemical application, a planting operation, and a harvest operation. So in the first row of the template, click on the date and change it to 5-1-2017. Notice that the management has a green border to show that it is being edited. Also notice that IET automatically sorts the managements by date. So even though we put the 5117 in the first row, it now shows up in the last row because of the date. That's okay, we will take care of that later. So on May 1st, the first operation that they do is a burn down chemical application. So we will choose the drop down by the default operation. We can press the S on our keyboard to go to the first S. Scroll down to we see sprayer kill crop. So now we have completed our first operation. Our second operation will be to plant the soybeans. So we're going to again change the date on the first one and this time the date will be May 15th. And again it's moved down to the bottom. Under the operation we're going to choose drill or air seeder single disc opener 7 to 10 inch spacing. So click the drop down Scroll down till you see drill or air seeder, single disc opener, 7 to 10 inch spacing. Since this is a planting operation, we have to specify what crop we're planting. So in the crop drop down, we're going to choose soybeans. And again, I can press the S to move to the first S in the list. We're going to choose soybeans, group 2, 3, and 4 seven inch rows. The yield defaults to the normal yield and again we're going to change the yield to 40 bushels. The last operation will be a harvest operation. So on the first row we're going to change the date until September 30th and again it's sorted by the date and this time we're going to choose harvest killing crop, so I'm going to press the H on my keyboard, moves to the first H, harvest, killing crop with 50% standing stubble. So I have now created a no-till soybean management. We have three rows, three operations. We could also save this as a custom, as a local rotation file by going up and giving it the name of no-till soybeans. Again, if we wanted to save it local, we could by clicking the Save Local button, but at this time, I'm going to click Stop Editing. Since we now have our new custom-created no-till soybeans management and we've stopped editing the crops operation, there's no need to change the soil climate because we already adjusted those parameters when we did the benchmark condition. The same on the slope practice and region barriers. 
So at this point we can go straight to the run simulation pane. We're still using the same fuel type and we can just click run simulation. Once the simulation run has completed, the results will display in the window. We can also save this run to appear in our planning summary. For that we will click on save. This result type will be an alternative. We will call it alternative 1. The result name will be field 1, no tills soybeans. And click OK. Now if we click on our planning summary pane, we can see both results from our benchmark, our alternative with the stir values, water erosion, wind erosion, SEI, and fuel use for each of those scenarios. The planner can continue to develop different alternatives with different crops operations and possibly even make some changes to the practices to show the differences in soil loss under different practices such as terraces, grass waterways, etc.